Oh my God, drifting is so stupid. It's pointless. When you boil it all down, it's pretty silly. It's just like skydiving. Why the hell you want to jump out of a plane? Just cars uh, sliding on the pavement. It's the stupidest thing you could do in a car ever. So I'm like, you know, in uh, winter time when your rear end kicks out, I'm like, yeah, it's like that, but we're going like 90 miles an hour sideways instead. Drifting is what everybody wants to do in a car when they get it. I've never put a person, and I'm talking per people of all ages, male, female, everybody loves that shit. You're going sideways in a car, you're going really fast, the engine's winding out, you're smelling the tire smoke, the gas, everything's going crazy. You might crash into a wall, you might crash into the guy in front of you. You gotta be like brain dead to not think that is lit. like the best thing ever. Because it's the ultimate rush that you can have with a vehicle with all your friends at the same time. It's the funnest thing ever to do behind the wheel of a car, period. I actually got a hold of Josh on, on Zip Tide and said, hey, you guys should swing by New Mexico because nobody else has. Most people don't go there, it's cool. And so they did, they swung by and I got it set up with Jim Guthrie, uh, owner of Car Crafters. He was at the time the president of the track and he said, yeah, let's do this. And we proceeded to shred tires for an entire day of fun. Did you see that big ass cat? Dude, that was huge. Imagine two, two of my cats put together. so much fun.
It's just like riding BMX or skateboarding. You just, you get hooked on it. Just like that, you know right away, I wanna buy a car, I wanna go drifting. Go through the paddock and be like, did you ever do anything that was ever in the X Games before you drifted? I bet 99% will be like, yeah. We all grew up skating together before we found cars. Skateboard or bike as you were a kid, you know, turning into a car and still, you know, having that same attitude and showing off, you know, your style with your next vehicle. It is a natural progression when you're too broken and battered to ride skateboards every day. You know, here's something that's fast and fun and it's, you know, got style and all that that BMX and skateboarding has. So you can just get in a car and try to, you know, progress, progress, progress. The youth attracted to it because they understand the subjective matter of it and the freestyle nature of it. And they're stoked on it because you can't do F1, you can't do V8 Australian supercar, you can't do MotoGP, but you can do drifting. When we were street racing and we were riding BMX and stuff, and when we saw drifting it was just like, this is really reckless and awesome and we should definitely do this immediately. El Paso, Texas, the 915, we're about to, we're about to get some sliding done. Hell yeah, and hopefully I'll get caught. being on drugs, that dude is the craziest dude I know. Like, I've never been to Formula D Atlanta, none of that. But what I see is there's a couple dudes down there that really work hard to keep uh, that scene going. And he definitely is probably at the forefront of that revolution as far as, you know, that fight to keep it sweet down there. Yeah, you can't ask for a better figurehead down there as far as the Atlanta area, that dude rules. I don't like vacuums, they suck.
Matt Petty, such a rad dude because he says the stuff sometimes that I want to say, but he's just unfiltered and very candid. Matt Petty is, is a guy that's definitely doing it for the right reasons. Um, and I think he's always done it for the right reasons. She's just all about just grassroots, just driving and having a blast, not about money sponsors or competitions or anything like that. You just go out, do what you do because you love it. Don't forget the reason why you uh, you got into it is kind of his, his whole take on things. Matt wants everybody to have fun. And if you're not having fun, then fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I've been running Club Loose out of English Town, New Jersey for 10 years. I mean, when we started out, it was just like, oh, check this sport from Japan that has cars that we're into. And we thought it would just be like a passing fad. And we all told ourselves like, we just ride this wave until it's over. And it just keeps growing and getting crazier. We're just along for the ride, I guess. That's it. <laughs> Tony Angel actually was the first person that showed me like proper drifting of cars sliding sideways uh, on real player videos before YouTube even. You know, we just thought drifting looks cool and we wanted to get some rear wheel drive cars and try and figure out how to do it. We saw it, thought it was awesome, and then we uh, kind of started emulating that. But really, even the fact that we were able to put on you know sanctioned events at English Town was blew our minds. I would just drive around and try to do what dudes in videos were doing that I saw and I was like, oh, I could do that. You know, spin off, drive up in somebody's yard and it was really stupid. It took me like a solid year to really be able to, to drift. Um, I used to think I was drifting. I would just like shift lock from third into second and spin the car out and be like, drifting! 
We borrowed a friend's car, it was a rear wheel drive Supra. We went out there, we actually set up a couple cones and me and Tony, we were switching off, getting in the car and like driving up and cutting the wheel and trying to get it to slide. And you know, it was, it was working. And like once we actually were starting to get it to go through that corner, it was, uh, it was just an awesome feeling. It's expensive. If you if you decide to even pursue it as anything that you want to do, like hey, I want to be a pro drifter, like your life is over at that point. Name somebody that got rich racing. Yeah, at one point I had a savings account. It's gone. At one point I had credit cards. And they're maxed. These these cars cost so much money, and it's these kids' whole lives, and they save up everything to try and like barely get their car done for the event. When you see like a big truck and a big trailer and a nice shiny expensive looking car with tons of wheels and tons of tires and tons of stickers everywhere like sure the perception is like that dude's making money but the reality is is that dude's spending a shit ton of money people just automatically think that uh you make a lot of money but that's definitely not not the case i mean you see guys that you know scrounge every dollar they have to get out and go drifting and you know if you're not willing to make a commitment like that, like, don't even bother. I never go out. You know, I don't buy expensive stuff. I still watch VHS tapes. I still listen to CDs. I ain't got an iPod, but all my money goes to cars. And, you know, that's all I think about. I guess that's called dedication, I guess. Well, Chicago has its own independent scene because it's its style and its sneakers and its kind of swag, but it's not New York swag. It's just kind of this flashy, polished deal, but then at the same time, they just run hard because there's some, some mean streets in Chicago, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. 
Drifting in general has just such a good community of people who are all there just to do the same thing, just kick the crap out of their cars and just have a blast and have fun with everybody. I call everyone like family, you know, like it's it's awesome. And like everyone's really genuinely excited about it, so it's cool to share that common bond with people that are so very different from yourself. Go around the country and be like, hey, let's get together for a drift event, and that's a good reason, you know what I mean? And then it's also a good reason, you know, to drink booze and party afterwards and that's the best thing you know I met some of the most influential people in my life through drifting and some of my best friends have been made through drifting and it's just such a good community and it's really hard to meet uh, crappy people in this in this sport the drifting was cool but it doesn't touch what happens with the, the bonds and the friends that you made afterwards if I ever stopped and got out of drifting I would have a, a lot of uh, you know lifelong friends from it a lot of them I'm up a bit on a stream, Tracy Island, time traveling, time and put a shake, heartaches, they come to find you, four and so velvet morning, years too late, she's a silver lining, lone ranger riding through an open space, in my mind when she's not right there beside me. I get asked that question all the time, like, what are you doing next? Like, you, I know you're like drifting, but like, what's the next step? What are you building for? It's like, I'm building to keep drifting as long as possible. This is why I do it. It's because it's fun. And I got into drifting because I love it. It wasn't to like learn how to be a better rally driver or anything like that. It's like, this is what I want to do. And I want to, you know, just continue with doing events like this, you know, running events, judging them, um, you know, helping kids with their cars and obviously driving myself uh, as, as long as possible. I've seen some old dudes rip around in a car. I, I'm hoping I can still handle a drift car when I'm 75. It's something that I would like to do forever, man. I don't, nothing's came so natural. Like I just, you know, it's, I love it. I, I think all these guys that are out now are in it for the right reason and they get it and that's awesome. It's like another outlet to, to be productive and to have you know, your mind and something into, into something like progressive, so it's better than watching TV. This is something that's like totally rooted in me now. I can't imagine life without drifting. When Jim got into it, he asked me, why is everybody out of their cars like giving each other high fives and stuff? Like, that's not motorsports. And that's what's so cool about drifting is that it's not motorsports at all. It's just a good time all around.
It is stupid inside that car, man. If you've done it, you will like it, guaranteed. Come see me, I'll buy you a beer if you don't like it. You're, you're a liar if you don't think drifting is awesome. Get some Oriental gifts and groceries. You know where I can go? Yahoo! What? 